you know the feces which are remaining in the damp vegetation generally they cannot receive the sufficient oxygen from the environment the water is very low in there due to less water sufficient oxygen would not be remain in that water because vegetation also be thick in there and water remains in the soil less they will depend upon the cutaneous layer of skin to perform in the respiration and if the water is less in there that type of respiration is called aquatic respiration no doubt that is aerobic but aquatic respiration if the air is not air is there but water is not present in there and in that time the organism also be performing respiration by the help of the skin or cutaneous layer that is called as your what aerial cutaneous respiration or aerial aerial respiration that is specifically called as aerobic so aerial aerobic respiration however one example is known as your periophthalmus periophthalmus and this species is called as the mosquitoes and those kinds of the species generally performing the respiration by the help of cutaneous layer that is considered the mosquitoes name which one periophthalmus okay its embryos and its larvae all these also performing by the help of the skin or cutaneous layer okay you know the these larvae and embryos in here can also subsorb the cutaneous respiration through the skin but moist and permeable skin before the emergence of the gills and gills immediately will not be formed at the time of but your larval stage or embryon embryonic stage okay in that time the organism which one is called the fish named as the your periophthalmus which are the most simple generally performed in respiration by the help of the cutaneous layer and cutaneous layer generally serves up in the purpose of respiration and because it is a very thin and moist and permeable by nature and due to this account skin generally here or coming the respiration and it is also be happening just emergence of the what gets in there okay the median feel you have find the feel in the body of the fish at the middle most part of the dorsal side that is called as the median fin okay and like you also find fin at the mid ventral position not only at the dorsal but also in the ventral those fins and these median fin spores many pieces are supplied with the numerous vessels that helps in the cutaneous respiration besides this highly vascular upper pula folds of the your tertials in another kind of fish the upper pula which are generally the remains over the gills chamber you know gills chamber they are provide a space to lodge about the gills which will be help in the aquatic respiration they will be well protected by the presence of the an upper pula at the upper most part of the part of the fish okay at the present day and that is called as upper pula pula is called as upper pula upper pula is a papillary structures which will be generally enclosed to the gills chamber and gills at the external sides and sometimes those but the upper pula is highly vascularized okay highly vascularized means the blood vessels are running under it okay and due to profuse blood vascular systems and it is a highly vascular and upper pular fold of the structure is one example of it and many cat fishes also such as the accessory structures such as the accessory structures okay then you come to know about the another part the part or portion of the fish body would be helps in the respiration as accessory man and it will be considered as accessory respiratory organs which one 
called as bucopharyngeal epithelium. Bucopharyngeal epithelium. Well, what? 
organized blood vessels. Blood vessels are ramifying in there and gases substance also accounted to that side. So, such type of your organizing is called as sim branches. Sim branches. Okay? And other example, one more skipper. I already named that one. What is it? More skipper. Then I am able that animal with a mouth. Okay, mud skippers. What is the name of the mud skippers? I already explained to you before of it. That is called as what? Perio. What is it? Perio. Okay. And Perio thalamus. Called as Perio thalamus. It's a L M U S. Generic name of the species, which one is called as the Marshtifers. Okay? And periophthalmus would be held in the what? In the gases exchange at the place of glucopharyngeal epithelium. Okay? And can fill their oral and pharyngeal cavities with air and by popping. Okay? This is ducks there and throw the oral group towards the buccal cavity as well as the pharyngeal cavity. And air will be confined within the space of the buccal cavity and pharyngeal cavity and that one can be diffused through the semi permeable of the membrane of the cells which are present in the epithelial layer of the buccal cavity and then process of respiration is completed in there. And that type of respiration is usually called as buccopharyngeal but epithelial is Again, we see the air which one comes from the where? From the water body. Okay? And remain within the buccal cavity as well as pharyngeal cavity. And only air, that means oxygen, is present in there. And with air at the stake, the oxygen directly from the also the atmosphere sometimes it comes to the uppermost part of the water body and by popping also receiving the atmospheric oxygen from the outer side how we pop air must be remain in the oral cavity or your buccal cavity as well as your pharyngeal cavity that receiving water that receiving water if the what oxygen is laden with the water that is being water. Generally, but out the oxygen molecule and that oxygen molecule diffuses through the what? Your plasma membranes of the cells of the epithelial layer and exchange their gases. Okay, oxygen received by them and carbon dioxide also be released to that glucopharyngeal cavity. Finally, that one can passes through the what? to the outer end. Okay? And it is one way. How the, the oxygen generally receiving from the water. Other one, if the pieces are coming to upwards or above the water surface to receiving the atmospheric oxygen, and that oxygen generally confined within the buccal cavity as well as the pharyngeal cavity, and that what air which are laden with the oxygen molecules can be diffused easily through the what? your plasma membranes okay and then that oxygen molecules to reach at the cells and cells also be released out of the carbon dioxide directly to the bucopharyngeal cavity finally that released to the outer environment through the oral through the oral and this kind of what your respiration is called as bucopharyngeal epithelial respiration but some people also be kept in their brains that is the nothing that is the old idea what concepts the old idea that most people use the vascular tail that tail is very much vascular and by the help of the tail that organizing can work for the respiration but it is a fantastic thing it is not real okay and vascular tail would not be helped in the respiration but Old idea is that the most important generally the vascular tail as a respiratory organ is not.
not supported by the new but is theologist who are the expert of the peace science. This theology is a branch of theology which deals about the different aspects of the pieces. But this theology, they are the experts. They would be known very well, well about the ethological science. They would be known as ethologist, but they would not be accept this concept. But they would not be held in the purpose of the experience in case of the pieces of case of like the mosquitoes. Okay? Let us know about the another kind of but your accessory respiration. That is called as your your god epithelium. Called as the god epithelium. God epithelium. Epithelial layer also be extends through the god or elementary kingdom. And that cellular layer would help somehow in the respiration as a accessory organs. So you can consider god epithelium as accessory respiratory organs. Let us know very detail about them. In several pieces, Epithelial lining certain parts of the elementary canal becomes vascular and modified to serve as a respiratory organ. Serve as a respiratory organ. It may be just behind the stoma. Okay? It may be just behind the stoma. You know, bucopharyngeal cavity also helps somehow in the respiratory. And then after the what? Your bucopharyngeal cavity, you find the osophagus. After the osophagus, you find the stoma. Till up to the stoma, this portion will not be helped in the what? Respiration. After that, the rest part of the elemental canal is somehow or should help in the respiration. And they will be considered as your what? Respiratory organs or accessory respiratory organs. And you know one piece that is called as Visgurus, called as Visgurus. Okay, called as the Visgurus, M I S D U R U S, Visgurus fossils, Visgurus fossils. And it will reveal to this kind of piece, this group's proceedings. And also, and there, the stoma of this organizing will be held somehow in the body, in the rest of us. After this, the uh, stoma, you find intestine also be even in the limited channel. That may be small intestine or large intestine, and it could be helped somehow in the purpose of experience. And our example is there: your lepidocephalus, lepidocephalus, lepido, l e p i d, lepidocephalus, c p h a l u s, cephalus, lepidocephalus. What is the specific name? Specific name is called as Buntia, called as Buntia, G U N T A, Buntia, Lepidocephalus Buntia. And another example also be considered in there, that is called as Gobitus, G O B I T U S, G O B I T U S, Gobitus. It will be somehow helpful in the what? in the intestinal respiration. Okay? And consider as intestine as the what? Accessory respiratory organs. Okay? Go in detail about them and which one is saying here, your gut epithelium, 
in several feces, the epithelial lining of the certain parts of the elementary canal becomes vascular and modified to serve as a respiratory organ. It may be just behind stoma that is called as viscous the fossils or intestine. Example is there, Lepidocephalus gruntia or Dobitus. These two are the examples of it. And towards the what? Anus, you find another portion of the what? Elementary canal and also we consider as the large intestine that is named as the what? Rectum. Called as rectum. As you see, the the temporary storehouse of the feces. Before releasing the outer environment, the rectum generally receives the fecal matters. But due to thin membrane, okay, the thin layer of the epithelium in there, and it will be also helped with the what respiration. And that type of respiration is called as rectal respiration, and that is also considered as accessory respiratory organs. And Example is the yeah. Cow is the thighs. Cow is the thighs. C A L L cow. Is the thighs I E C H T S Y E T S. Cow is the thighs. And if cow is the thighs, the rectum acts as a accessory respiratory complex. Okay. And this air is drawn through the what? So the mouth or anus and after gaseous exchange voided through the anus. As these pieces, the wall of the gut is modified to perform the respiratory functions and the wall of the gut in these areas become thin due to reduction of muscular layer. However, such type of respiration is known as dot epithelial accessory respiration and organ is known as your accessory respiratory organs. Okay? Then next you know your pelvic fields also we act as the accessory respiratory organs. Pelvic fields. Sometimes 
species are to be present at the land surface. Okay, lungs should be held in the respiration. We people are performing respiration by the help of lungs, and lungs type of respiration will be known as pulmonary respiration. Pulmonary means lungs. Okay, we people are performing pulmonary respiration. Pieces are also somehow performing the what? Your lungs respiration or what should be called as pulmonary respiration. The fish which are generally use the lungs as the for respiratory organs, we people call to them lung fish. In America, you find one type of lung fish, and that is generally performing the what? Your pelvic fins are the respiratory organs. Let us lepidosaide. Lepidosaide or as lepidosaide. Okay. This species is considered as one American lung fish. Okay. And during breeding time, the pelvic fins of the male, not female, become enlarged and grow and filamentous vascular outgrowth which generally your pride reflects the oxygen to the your guarded eggs in the air. Okay? And due to oxygenation, generally the eggs also be remaining as a protected banner. Okay? And that type of your respiration is called as the what? Pelvic fins respiration or also be known as the pelvic fins as the what? The accessory respiratory organs. Okay? Thank you.